I think the lack of experience is showing in the way they're starting these games. The slow yes. starts are becoming more than a coincidence. Why do you think they're struggling so much out of the gate? Because remember, every week that they go against a, a different opponent, that's a different situation yeah. underneath a different defense. So they haven't had that collective data to say, hey, when this happens, this is how we're going to handle it, right? The person next to you, right? They play with each other. You talk about guys, you know, Morgan Moses played a couple years ago with Vera Tucker, so he's familiar with him. But in this system, it's different communications, it's different rules, it's different tools in your toolbox. And until they have that collective information, it's going to take time. Remember, when Aaron Rodgers, his last year in Green Bay, he had a bunch of young rookie receivers, Christian Watson, I forget the other guy, but it, it was a slow, slow rise. By the time they got to the week 10, they were ready to go and they start getting a lot of momentum. The key is for the Jets, while you're going through this phase, you have to make sure that you're not losing too many games, that you're out of striking distance, that you can't get in the tournament. Can't dig yourself in too big of a hole. Only seven well, that's another points. way to say it. Thank you, Bart. I was trying to be like you, give a little synonymous phrase there. Uh, only seven points combined in their first two drives so far this okay. season. Obviously, that's not good. But you just said all these things. How can this offense be corrected, the issues that they're dealing with? It's reps. That's all it is, is reps. It's being put in situations. It's running the same route a thousand times and saying, okay, you run this route, but this is cover two, so you have to ride, run it slightly different. Okay, this is cover one. Okay, this is two man. Okay, this is a fire zone. See, those are all things that are important, right? And that's what they're finding out on the fly. And the problem was in the situation of miscommunication last week where it looks like, you know, when we had, had to have it, he threw the ball and Garrett Wilson didn't even look back. That's because he wouldn't been in that, in that situation. Yeah, you know, it's one thing to, to do something, but it never works out on paper the same way that it does on the field. You have to improvise. That's why you see so much chemistry and success from Alan Lazard, because he's able right. to do those off-script type of nonverbal communications. And like when I was here at the end of, of my career, I can look at David, or I can see how David moved, and, and I can anticipate how he saw it, because we had did it so many times. Repetition, rep after rep after rep, that I, could, I knew what he was thinking before he even thought it. Yeah, but that comes with so much time. I don't know how much yes. time this offense has. You got to put it in the microwave. In a system that is in a win now right. situation. But, that, but that's why you have to co collectively get the reps. That's why it's important that you know guys aren't in and out of the lineup, guys aren't injured, because you have to have these collective reps. You have to come to the sideline and communicate. This is what we're going to do. And you hope, we like to believe that when we go against a team that they're going to run the, the defense that we've seen on film. Right. But what if they have a game plan wrinkle? You have to be able to say, okay, now we have to think on, on the fly. That's like I, why I said that, you know, maybe Aaron Rodgers needs to get a couple more allies here, people that know the way he thinks, that has that collective information about how he thinks in certain situations as the other guys catch up and get up to speed.